is this the most economically priced moon mission in the world? I was looking at the cost, 615 crores. 615 crores is 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 is, is a lot of money, but it's actually nothing for what we're talking about here uh, compared to what is spent. It speaks to the genius, as it were, of ISRO. Uh, how do you how do you uh, you know look at this question about the cost? Is this the most cost effective moon mission in the world? Um, I will say yes, because uh, ISRO has a of course first of all uh, is a very lean organization. It spends yes, only on essentials. The overhead charges are minimal, and also the ISRO scientists put in much more effort than an ordinary scientist in any other organization in India or abroad. So the net uh, result is that we are able to achieve missions with a relatively less expenditure. Yet another factor is that uh, we are able to build upon what we have done in the past. See, for example, the tracking station, which is required for this, has been built as part of the Chandrayaan-1 project, and that is still being used. So we don't make an additional investment on that. Similarly, the many of the hardware they are uh, derivatives of the Chandrayaan one, and uh, also the type of uh, the technology, the, the software or hardware development which is required, also is part of the space craft development program. So this step of continuity ensures that the incremental cost of uh, tuning it for the uh, um, uh, Chandrayaan mission is minimal. That's one of the reasons that we are able to give such a cost effective, perhaps the least cost solution to the world. It's amazing. I, and I, I, I do have to maybe uh, Arvind Paranjpe can add to this, but I just feel like scientists, you know, when you hear Dr. Nair talking about uh, how how Chandrayaan, how ISRO only spends on essentials, you look at 615 crores, 615 crores is less than the budget of the recent movie Adi Purush. I just want to put it into context. Uh, and these are scientists who you know, finest minds of India who could have gone outside of India, never went outside of India, never chased big money, stayed here like true low profile patriots. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, Arvind, if you want to add a thought on, on that. Now, you have absolutely said it correctly, Barkha. It is a wonderful thing. I mean, I'm I'm so proud of Indian uh, scientists and uh, ISRO scientists. I'm being a big fan of uh, Dr. Nair uh, from, from my younger days and uh, you have said it very correctly that they work on a shoestring budget and they're they're so happy to talk to you i have so many friends at isro and then whenever i am in need of it they, they just answer me so sir has salute hats off to you for such a great achievement and i, I think in about 45 days time we will be on a, on a celebrating uh, landing on the uh, landing on the moon and becoming the nation uh, the first nation to go on the, the uh, southern side of the moon. It was a great, great day. I it's, always remember this. It, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a goosebumpy feeling. Before we close, just a last thought to you, Dr. Nair. Uh, you say it in such a matter of fact way, you know, uh, we reuse things, we only spend those essentials. And, uh, the amount of public interest in this, uh, you know, what is the what is that what does that make you feel today as a space scientist? Do you feel you're finally getting the love, the recognition, the profile that you all always deserved, sir? Um, well, certainly. Uh... I have got both sides. Before I comment on that, uh, let me say what you are seeing today is the legacy which is created by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai and followed up with uh, Professor Dhawan, Dr. Kalam, uh, Professor U. R. Rao, Dr. Kasur Ragan, and so on. So we have built an organization uh, one over uh, with uh, efforts one over the other, and that is what has resulted in such an efficient and smooth functioning. But as far as recognition is concerned, I think uh, ISRO scientists are working for meager uh, remuneration. In fact, yes. I remember the days where we had to, myself and Dr. Katkoka, had to put a big fight with the finance ministry to get some incentive given to the scientific community. Um, that is only extra we have compared to any other administrative or other type of people in the country. Certainly, the, the work of these scientists and technologists has been recognized uh, through the national uh, awards and uh, recognition, as well as uh, financial compensation. So for that, uh, there is no mechanism in the country today. And I'm a bit disappointed on that. 
the performance excellence in performance has to be rewarded in fact other day one of the it man the personal manager in the it department he said you pay peanuts uh, and uh, you will get only monkeys for the job uh, but here uh, even if you give the peanuts the so scientists will perform the best of the humans in the world